right up. And real. here we go. It will be the men's team gold medal match here at the 2015 Archery World Championships in Copenhagen, Denmark, Canada against Iran. And it's Canada out first coming out of the castle and being led by the one, the only, Deep Martrillis. Now this team this week finished three up on Australia, won a shoot off with South Africa, and then dropped Denmark by four. Now, if you can beat Denmark, you've done something, and they beat them by four. So, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here in just a few moments as Canada takes to the field, led by, as we said, Dietmar Trillis on your left right there. He'll team up with Christopher Perkins, a former world champion who won his world title back in 2011 in Torino, and completing the three, Kevin Tetterin, a 30-year-old who comes in unranked but has 14 wins to his credit. So this yeah. is quite a lineup for the Canadians. Oh, that is a formidable team. There's no, not even a thought of a weak link in that team, and they've all won big events. Now here is a fascinating team coming onto the field of battle right now. The team from Iran. Iran beat Venezuela by one knocked off the Colombian team by one and slipped by Italy by two. Now, bear in mind, Iran hadn't been in a finals match, in a gold medal match since 2011. Now, here in 2015, this is the second time this summer they've been in a gold medal match. Yeah. They got to the gold medal finals at stage one Shanghai. Yeah. And now here they are again in a gold medal match. So they're becoming a big factor this summer. Yeah, they're always strong shooters. They've always had some really strong shooters. Um, I do believe it was Kazempor recently equaled the world record for the 720 round. So these guys do not underestimate them. No. Canada, Canada are massive favorites in this match, but Iran will not lie down. They will fight. Esmael Ebadi, Amir Kazempur, and Majid Gedi, the three archers shooting for Iran here in the gold medal match. And as we mentioned, they had that strong week with wins over Venezuela, Colombia, and Italy to reach the finals for the second time in 2015 outdoors. But they'll be up against it with a strong, experienced team from Canada as Dietmar Trillis straddles the shooting line and will take the first shot of this gold medal match. Yeah. Dietmar is no stranger to the big stage. World champion, World Cup champion, Las Vegas champion, world record holder, and he knows no. how to shoot an arrow. So good lead off shot from Dietmar, a bit high. Dietmar, 46th in the world rankings right now. 61 career wins, a 70% winning average, or percentage, I should say. And here's Christopher Perkins. Good. The former world Good. champion from 2011 in Torino. Good. Yeah. Perkins, phenomenal archer. Don't see a lot of him out of the States. You know, he shoots a lot in Canada and North America. Don't see much of him at the, the Vita events, the World Archery, but when he does, he always delivers. Ooh. Tatarin. Tatarin looked rough. Sees there. red. Yeah. That's uh, a very loose opening end for Canada there, so. Iran have got a chance to stake an early uh, lead. The body. the body starts off with a 10, 38 years old. He's ranked 24th in the world and has some strong, strong help here today from his teammates, yeah. Kazimpur and Gedi. Wow. Low shot there. Low so into the eight ring. Didn't. Or seven, uh, excuse me. Yeah, it's a seven. Didn't take the full advantage there. Don't want to let Canada off too much. Can only imagine the pressure. Oh, Point advantage to Canada in the opening rally, but it's a very nervous affair so far. Like the ladies' gold match, there's a lot of tension and very. No one was really taking the chances until the death. So an early one-point lead for the Canadians as Dietmar Trillis toes the good, line good again. And 
Dietmar sends one home into the 10 ring. Christopher Perkins. 18 Good. career That's victories, it. almost in the same spot as Dietmar Trillis's shot. Yeah. Uh, loads of time for Tataran. He just needs to settle himself down. Looking a bit nervous. Trying no, to hold no. it together, got the nine. He's not quite relaxed yet, Tataran. There you go, Dietmar just. <laughs> just loosening him up, giving him a little bit so of a neck rub. But that's the type of guy Dietmar is. He knows how to lead a team. You know, he know he can sense his teammates a little bit nervous. Good shot there. Good body. Yeah. The body, who was on the team that won a silver medal in Shanghai earlier this season which was, by the way, his first World Cup medal. Now there's a strong shot by Kazimpur. Yeah. Kazimpur, 32 years old, 41st in the world. His last medal came in 2011 at stage three in Ogden. Now Majid Gedi, 25 years old and ranked 51st in the world. And you can tell they're getting a little bit more comfortable now. A little more, a little more, but... Canada are very, uh, they'll be happy they've got a lead because they didn't start amazing, but they'll relax down. They all look very nervous. Perkins looks a little bit on edge there, and Tatarin, Dietmar though, he's, you know, it's just another day out for Dietmar, isn't it? And that's why he's won so much, because he's, he loves to be out there, like we saw with Hansen. He wants to be <laughs> in the like light. It's just natural. And some people, they tense up. And they worry about losing. Dietmar just enjoys himself. Yeah. Dietmar's been at it for such a long time. 57 years old. Yeah. He's been at this game for an awfully, awfully long time. Was the world champion 2007 in Leipzig. D Dietmar would say he's 57 years young. Young. You're right. <laughs> That's the way to look at it. That's exactly the way to look at it. Absolutely. But no, this is going and to be. You know match. what? I think archery probably keeps him young. Yes, it does. Yeah, this match is going to have some real twists and turns, I reckon. Canada's agent struggling to get their arrows out. So it's a two point lead for Canada 56 54. The first time that Canada or Iran have been in this gold medal match at the World Championships since the turn of the century. It's usually been dominated by the United States. In fact, the USA had won the men's team gold medal at the World Championships from 2003 through 2011. Yeah. There was a string of uh, five straight gold medals at the World Championships. And of course, that was broken in Belek by Denmark back in 2013. You'd almost call it the the Braden Galantine and team award, couldn't you? Braden, Braden, <laughs> Braden, Braden, Braden. Rio, yeah. <laughs> throw in Jesse Broadwater and Dave Cousins and Roger Willett Jr. and so, D. Wild, in fact, was on the team. Yeah. Back in 2003 in New York City. What a <laughs> legend. Yeah. Legend. They, it's so many of those guys just unbelievable. So. But it shows how the rest of the world has caught up now and how competitive it is. Yeah. You have Iran and you have Canada in this men's gold medal match. Yep. Iran not quite finding that 10 yet. They just look a little bit nervous still. And they've got to find the 10. So here's Gedi, Majid Gedi. Was ranked as high as 21st in the world back in 2012. There's the 10. Shoot again. But if Canada, you know, relax and start enjoying themselves, there's going to be no way back for Iran. Good, like, solid. Dietmar appears to be solid. enjoying himself. Dietmar's just like, yeah, I'll shoot turns. Solid <laughs> and Perkins, Perkins, the, obviously earlier this year, nearly won a million dollars for shooting three perfect scores at the big indoor series in America. About one inch away with 30 shots to go. Good. 10 right. Perkins. Good. Good. Put it on the line. Yeah. So that will count as a 10. Yeah. Canada starting the second end with a two point lead. Yeah. 
And now Kevin Tatarin trying to keep it going. Just not relaxed. Tatarin's not relaxed at all. Good, solid there you go. There you go. Right there. He's found his 10 now. Two more. That'll settle him down. What's up, Kev? That'll settle him down. Ismael Libadi. That's better from Iran. Much better. Two in a row. You know, he's only been competing outside Iran the last two years. Yeah. But when he shows up, he makes his presence felt. Kazimpour does the same. Brilliant. That's much better. Now Majid Gedi. On the team that won the silver medal in Shanghai at stage one to start the yeah. World Cup season outdoors this year. A really impressive performance from them there in Shanghai. And that fantastic setting. I love that they turned yes. the field around this year. Yes, along the Huangpu River yeah. in the Pudong district. Yeah. There you go, three tenths from Iran. So Canada woke up, Iran really woke up. For those nervous early. In fact, after the first two shots, they fired up yeah. four straight tens. Ah, nine, nine. Dimar falters a little bit. Yeah. Good. Great shot. Good, good, good. Just 23 years old, Christopher Perkins. Yeah. Bit of a, uh, not a lot of time here for uh, Kevin Tataran. Down to 10 seconds. Yep. Yeah. Trying to hold it steady, oh, and nine. it's a nine. Yeah, Canada let, it ran off a little at the end there. He's the... So the lead stays at two. Yeah. Tatarin had to rush that shot there. I don't know if you noticed the coach was counting him down. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, five, we need to get going, kind of thing. So. And, and some archers respond well to that, while others yeah. might be panic time. Well, the coach needs to understand what the archer wants. Um, they'll talk to each other before the match, and he'll know do they want a 10 second or a five? Do they want a, a loud count or a quiet count so it's important your teammates all have a job and they'll know each other really well particularly a team who's shot together like this so often yeah so at the midway point it's a two-point match as canada leads it 114 to 112 yeah. canada trying to pick up the men's team gold medal and there's a good look at kevin tetterin yeah the 30 year old who came here to copenhagen with 14 career victories to his credit. Did pick up a team silver medal at stage three in Ogden back in 2010, but that's been quite a while. It's a long time ago. Yeah. The, uh, he's been in a final himself in Antalya many years ago, I do believe. Yeah, actually, he was, uh, let's see, he reached the uh, finals, I believe, in France at stage four in 2008. Uh, yeah. And came away with a silver medal. Yeah, so he's been around a very long time. Just again, one of these archers who doesn't do many, but he comes to the world. He finished top eight here individually this week as well. Knocked his own teammate Perkins out. Crowd enjoying yeah. the sunshine, the music, and the archery here at the World Championships in Copenhagen. Hope you're enjoying our shot-by-shot -shot coverage here on Archery TV, wherever in this wide world you may be happen to be watching. The wind is picking up. Just oh. as they step up to the line, but so Ibadi is not bothered by that at all. Yeah, the tens are also picking up. He's impressive. Averages 9.7 points per arrow. You can see why they have him leading off for Iran. Yeah. Kazimpour backing him up. That's a nine. Just outside that's in the nine, nine ring. Yeah, that sun is. I wonder how much that sun is just getting in the scopes and making the aim a little bit nervous. And Gady looking through that peep sight. Nice shot. Ten. Iran, they look, their body language is much better than when they came out. I think this stage is making people very nervous as they're 
that walk out it's a big doors. stage it is there's a lot of people out there and it's a big big stage yeah. it's not like shooting in your backyard no although if you can See, mentally make it seem uh, that way no. yeah it's I'm to your advantage be. now Dietmar Dietmar's not happy with that shot he thought no. that was good so he's a bit like no oh. <laughs> looks close Perkins takes his time and delivers the 10. Perkins plants it right yeah. where he wants it. Yeah. Now Tatarin. Again, though, they're up against the time clock here because they should be inside the minute mm -hmm. for their first three. And it's going to be under a minute. Yeah, they're gonna, he's going to be rushing again on his next end, and that's not going to help them. Got it. But he got Good. it. Good Kev. Getting better Good as Kev. the match goes on. Yeah. So Kevin Kev. comes through. Yeah, so... Canada are going to have to watch the clock in their uh, next end. The body. Yes, yes, yes. Strong now. Sinks one. Yeah. In that ten ring. The body has been consistent throughout this match. Yeah, he's only shot one nine so far for a run. Oh, there's another nine. You're right out of his six shots. The body is. Fired up 10 yeah. on five occasions. Yeah. Has had only one in the nine ring. Now Majid Gedi yeah, after the been, shot by Kazimpur. He's been getting better and better and better. So He needs a 10, but settles for a nine. Hey guys, do it again. Would have been a big. On the right. So it's an opportunity right here for Canada to put more daylight between themselves and the team from Iran. Nine. Oh, deep. Another nine. Again. Oh. A little bit farther Lost his deep. mojo a bit. Yeah, the magic's gone. But again, I think he's <laughs> trying to, to rush to give his teammates look at the clock. 30 seconds and Perkins isn't at full draw. Tatarin is going to be rushing big time here. And a nine for well, that. Perkins let it go when there were 20 seconds. Yeah. Now with 15 seconds, Tatarin. He's in a rush. Just drawing it back with 10 seconds now. <laughs> Down to five seconds. Getting a countdown. Oh, nine. Not just bad, all things considered. That was not ideal. Canada need to not be putting themselves under that kind of pressure. All three had to rush there, and it didn't help them out. So that, has that squared the match? It has. If he, they've, they've started his last arrow as an eight, Good. yeah? I, I think he'll get the nine, so I think Canada are only going to have a one-point lead going into the last end. It appeared. I thought he caught the line yeah, for I a think nine. It's, I think he'll get the nine. I think he'll get the nine, yeah. so that may be a little bit deceiving right yeah. there. That's where the judges come into play and why it's so important. Yeah. As they'll be down there looking very, very carefully and very closely and scrutinizing that arrow, yeah. that last arrow. Compare the scores to the, uh, the, bronze, the bronze medal match we just witnessed. They're really down. They're not uh, finding it at all. That could be reflective of the pressure that it's exists in a gold medal match. Big time. Big Although I, I've always thought there's plenty of pressure in a bronze medal match because if you don't win there, you go home empty-handed. That's true. It's true. Nobody wants to lose the last match, though. But there's something about that goal, John Nutt. Yeah. All that glitters is gold. Yeah, I know. So, and that is the elusive prize. And these arches have been working so hard, so long, so many years. Yeah. And then you come here and you fight and you battle all week long. Now they do change that to a nine, so it's a one-point yeah. lead, one point 170 lead. to 169. Yeah. So Iran are going to lead off, and this is just like the situation in the last gold medal match where Ukraine had got the momentum going after being behind. They'd come back. They and, relaxed. And do you feel like either one of these teams has real momentum uh, right now? Iran. Iran are getting better and better. And Canada has dropped back a bit. They've given themselves some time pressure. So, you know, it's right now, I think Iran might just have the upper hand in this. But. Ibadi with a 10. Yeah, Kazimpur with a 9. Kazimpur really hasn't found his mojo at all, but his teammates are holding him in there. Gady. 
who picked up a team bronze medal in 2011 at stage three. Yeah. In Ogden, Utah. 29. So there's two tens and a nine. Yeah. Yeah. So and Canada there. need to make good shots right now. They're breathing down the neck of the Canadians. Now, Dietmar has shot a couple of nines yeah. on his last few attempts. That's more like Dietmar. But that is more like the Dietmar Trillis. Oh, that's a no, nine. No, that's nine. It, I was fooled by the shadow. Yeah, I, All right. right in the middle. So, so there's there another then. nine. Yeah. There's yet another nine. However, two tens by Canada can keep them in Good. front. And there's the yeah, first one by Perkins. That's now, now there's real pressure on Tatarin. Yeah. Coming at your back, you may, you may want to yeah. Float. He's got much better time than they had in the last match. But nine right here, though, ties the match with three arrows to go. A ten will keep Canada in front by one. Oh, oh and it's way outside in the eight ring. Mm. And all again, we see a reversal of fortune, and Iran forges ahead 198 Iran. to 197. Iran now in the same situation as the Ukraine were with a 10. He has shot brilliant in this match, oh. by the way. Esmael Abadi yeah. has been terrific. Absolutely, everything you want. Lights out. Yeah, 79 for him. I think he's one of the best archers out here this morning. Kazimpur bearing down. Oh, oh, but he shoots an eight. So many twists and turns. It's like the roller coaster yeah. over at Tivoli Gardens. It is. Kazimpur not had a great match at all, but it's t a, ten, no, a 10 here is really could be enough. It's critical right now. Yeah. This shot is huge for Majid Gedi. Gedi comes through. So now it's the waiting game. It's absolutely the same as the women's gold medal match. 30 Eight, to win. 30 will win it. Yeah. So three straight tens will win it. 29 will tie it. Deep managed to call on his experience. Oh. oh. High eight. High nine, sorry, nine. Caught the line, it's a nine. So they, they've got to have two tens right now. Yeah. I really want them to get two tens. I'd love a shoot off right now. Wouldn't that be something in the yeah. men's gold medal match? Yeah. You can rely on Chris Perkins, I know that. Focused in. There you go. Ten. You can see that fierce look yeah. on his face as he released that shot. Uh, tataran has been struggling. The time's been getting to him. He's got enough time now. The weight of his world is on his shoulders right now. Come on. Can he come through with a ten to tie it and send it to a shoot-off? Yes! yes! <laughs> We're going to a shoot-off. I know. Wow, what a shot. He, brilliant. Tataran. And Perkins, they dug deep then. They really did. After Dietmar Trillis came up with nine on the... Yeah. Dietmar's been high. A lot of high shots. So they had a chance to put it away and would have put it away had it not yeah. been for that eight yeah. on the shot by Kazimpur. Kazimpur's final shot. Really? It's been a really ugly match. But it's been an exciting match. An exciting match. and an interesting yeah. match. Yeah. And this crowd is into it. They are eating it up here in Copenhagen. Yeah. So, one arrow each archer. The team who has the highest score will win. If it's tied on score, it's then the closest arrow to the center. Those are the rules. It was so. interesting this week. Oh, uh, the Italian team, I believe, had three straight shoot-offs. Yes. And in fact, on one of those shoot-offs, if I recall correctly, it went down to the third arrow. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. It went down to the third arrow. Because the first two were so evenly matched. Yeah, it's brilliant to imagine that. Uh, yeah, you, you were, I think it was eight as well. Yeah. <laughs> My eight was better than his. <laughs> well, if you have a weak heart, yeah, absolutely. So this may not be your uh, cup of tea, but it is mine, and I know it's yours. Yeah. And judge is just reminding him all of the rules, which is always really good. You guys should be shooting first now. What great drama this is right here. Yeah. Ibadi, Kazimpur, and Gedi for Iran and for Canada. Canada started the Perkins match. and Tatarin. Didn't they first this morning? They did. Yeah. So Canada will shoot first. 
I think though it will be one arrow from Canada, one I think it goes alternate, so it's one one, one one. Oh, if I'm right there. <laughs> So can Iran do what they were not able to do in Shanghai? They weren't able to finish it off yeah. and get the gold medal there. Can they come through here in the shoot-off and get the job done? For me, it's about Kazimpour in the shoot-off because he hasn't, has he shot a 10? I'm not sure. The middle shooter for Iran. Kazimpour. He's only shot 110. So I think it's gonna come down to him. You're right, he has only one 10. Yeah. And he's also shot a seven and an eight. Yeah, I think that that's the it's a good point, the key, John. key archer in this two off now. If he gets it right, then Canada could be in trouble. But who can slow their heart rate? Yeah. Who can calm their nerves? Go on, Dima. Who can focus in and deliver in the clutch? Look at that sun on that scope. Nine and four. Yeah. Did you see the, the the sun reflecting on his bubble then in his sight? That's so hard to shoot and that's going on. It really is. Esmael Abadi, the 38-year-old. He's been solid. Can he carry it on? Yes, yes he that. can. That's a great arrow because not only is it a 10, it's an X. So if it's a tie on score, they've already got a great shot in there. Perkins. Who came through on his final shot in the fourth end with he, a 10. He worked so hard on that shot. He was clutch good. and he's clutch again. But it's not as good as the, other, the X from Iran. Now, here is the man yeah. you were talking about. Yeah. If he gets this right. Amir Kazimpour. Yeah. The 32-year-old who's 41st in the world, has three World Cup medals to his credit and he, he comes through. When he needs it. So, to Taran. Now, again, needs a 10 like last time, but he needs a good 10. And what an amazing shot that was he had on his last attempt. Yeah, he dug deep. He sent this to the shoot-off. Yeah. Time, he's got five. Three, two, two. <gasps> oh, that's oh. good. But, 10. So, now. nine to win, because yeah. they have the best 10. Iran, nine to be world champions. Majid Gaidi. What a shot this guy has now on his arm. For the world championship title. There you go. There ten, it is. Ten, ten. Iran has done it. Fantastic. Iran has done it. Yeah. They have come from behind. Yeah. What an achievement. Forced a shoot off yeah. and win the shoot off with three tremendous yeah. shots. And look at the joy and the celebration in the grandstands here in Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. Like that is some achievement by Iran to come through. They were massive underdogs in that match. Canada had been stunning in getting to the finals. All the experience of the Canadian team and Iran just dug so deep there. <laughs> they are dancing in the aisles. They are. Literally. Brilliant, brilliant. Very proud people there. As well they should be. Yeah, absolutely. A tremendous performance here on this stage yeah, yeah. in and Copenhagen. We need to single out though in this match. Embadi from Iran. I, that was a real performance from him. Stunning performance. Gady yeah, was strong and when yeah. it counted, when it mattered the most, Kazimpour came through yeah. with a great shot. When he needed it. When he needed it. Had been shaky a little bit. Yeah. But then. <laughs> Very, yeah. Yeah, that was brilliant. So, fantastic. They Denmark have got a medal, which is good. Denmark did get a medal. Canada will go home with the silver, but look at the smiles, and you can just see the pride. Yeah. The beaming faces of the Iranian archers. Yeah. As they uh, pose for uh, some pictures of this golden moment. Yeah. moment they'll never forget Absolutely. here on the grounds of the Christian Borg Palace in Copenhagen, Denmark. Yeah, yeah, no, brilliant effort. We've seen some fantastic matches this morning. Really have from our first match with Korea and Venezuela, where Korea were just their clinical selves. They offered a chance to Venezuela. Venezuela did fine to take it, and then Korea shut them out. Then the ladies' gold medal match, Ukraine, all the way, just like Iran. Just behind, just behind, just behind. And then on the decisive final end, they jump through the door. Yeah, so 
enjoying the reaction shots here yeah. in Copenhagen as Iran wins the shoot off yeah. 30 to 29. Yeah, brilliant. After forcing the shoot off, coming from behind in the fourth and final end, they were down by one heading to the fourth end, trailed by.